snoring dog. Hi, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Maker. And uh, I'm collecting some cobblestone here just before we start today's episode. Um, <laughs> say today's episode as if I record every day. It is a little odd. Um, right now I'm actually, it's a Monday morning or Monday early afternoon, um, which normally at this time I'm at work. I'm however taking today off work. Um, I hear you guys you're not gonna be able to get me because I have no idea where your cave is anyway um, uh, I'm taking today off work my wife has been for the last 16 weeks going through chemotherapy and today's her last treatment and normally I would be there with her uh, on her chemo day um, but her mom came up and decided she wanted to be supportive and and uh, experience the chemo process along with her. So, so right now they are at the infusion center and uh, getting the chemo. And then afterwards, we are going to go celebrate. But I'm while well, I'm waiting for them to finish up the chemo, which always takes forever because they have to draw blood to make do some tests to make sure everything's okay and that her blood counts are fine and all that. Um, so while we're waiting for that. I figured I'd uh, do a little bit of recording because I have some stuff to show you. Um, and anyone who is at the moment thinking, how can he be playing Minecraft when his wife has cancer? Well, no, she doesn't have cancer. She uh, she did, and she is doing very well. Uh, the chemo at this point is completely preventative to make sure there aren't uh, any micro tumors that have... Uh, managed to uh, spread throughout her body uh, otherwise we are we are um, believing that everything is fine that we are clear so so this is this is a good thing we're making progress we're healing and everything is going to be fine so sun is going down i did not time this very well so let's go in put some cobble in there to uh to cook and we are going to go up here, put our utility pick away. And I have some stone here, which I'm going to bring with me. Should I bring these? Yeah, I should. Well, I'm keeping this cobblestone. I don't know. Anyway, um, and let's, before it gets completely dark, let's go over into the nether. Okay. I love the sound of the nether portal. Okay, here we are, back in the nether. And, uh... Okay, so here, I've been doing a lot of work in here. I rearranged my... My, uh, furnace wall. And notice, I slabbed everything. I raised the roof here, of the ceiling by one block because it was a little low and claustrophobic and it wouldn't have given me enough room to do this. I've placed half slabs all along here and all along here and I can hear the gas outside but the gas can't get to me because I have this hallway um, and I have I need to do still do these steps but notice that there are no pigmen on them so I, I wonder they should be able to spawn on these four blocks on each landing so I need to replace those I need to slab those as well but I need to replace the block under them with an upside down slab or bottom slab or whatever you want to call it um, okay and I slabbed my walkway so I can hear this guy and I can hear the gas out here somewhere well, be careful gas is over here anyway I slapped the walkway and notice no pigmen. No 
pigmen, no magma cubes, no nothing. This is wonderful. Now I can get to where I'm going. Come on. Is this the path we're going to run? And not have to worry about, you know, accidentally, accidentally, uh, hitting a zombie pigman or something like that. And then I put in these rails and I realized I don't need this row of half slabs. This one will suffice. These are at the bottom half. See, half slab takes up, this is where a block would be. And the slab can take up a bottom, the bottom half or the top half of where the block would be. This is the bottom half. This is the bottom half. These are all the bottom half. And when they're there, they take up enough of the block that that block is no longer eligible for spawning, which is awesome. Um, so I put in these rails so I could see a little bit out and nothing can spawn up top here. And there isn't enough room here any for anything to spawn. I should keep walking just in case. And it provides me a little bit of protection from the gas. The gas obviously can't see the gas can see me through here, I assume, and of course above here, but I'm pretty high up, and I think the gas, uh, although I hear one, um, it's not going to get at me very much. So so I'm able to now saunter along here as uh, quickly or slowly as I like without having to worry about dealing with the, the pigment. So I may dig up this center row of uh, slabs and put in rails to make this journey a little bit less uh, tiring because if I run the whole way along I always end up needing to, uh, to eat when it gets done and then same thing along here although notice there is a pig man here hello sir where did you come from so he may have spawned up here and um, and jumped over the rail so I probably should go and take care of all this stuff over here and over here. But it's not that big of a deal. I don't mind the pigmen so much. Um, I see. So my entire trip, and this is, you know, about a kilometer's worth of walking, I think. I think. Maybe I'm talking complete nonsense there. But uh, anyway, it's, uh, we saw one pigman. It's not bad. Okay, let me ditch. I've got my, uh my stone here yeah and I've got some slabs put them there and some bricks all right so same thing here I put a little space and then notice my trip down I slabbed all this slabbed all the edges there and uh, put in a safety rail here so now you can see their pigment off over there um, I need to do something about this whole area here uh, probably going to slab it over with nether brick slabs because hey I've got a bunch of nether brick now and when I get done I'll have even more without that fire um, and uh, it'd be nice to make this area completely safe so my idea is make safe zones where I can walk and not have to worry about anything and so far it's working. It's working pretty well. Hello. I think there's a jack-o'-lantern down there. Uh, so then I, I, between slabs and stairs, put in all this section down here and down here. More safety rail. And down here, I slab the top of this. So now I can walk over here and see what's going on down below on the fortress. Hi, Pigman. Enjoy that spot while you can because I'm going to tear that down. Um, and then uh, down here where I've got ladder down onto this section of the fortress put in the little head bump so I can get down without having to worry about um, I end up walking too fast and, and end up falling and taking damage and then same thing here and I slab this room I've started to do this down here but that's kind of secondary of importance the important thing is out here and this is what I'm going to be working on uh, slabbing these walkways and rails um, so I can come out here and I've got this lit so pigmen can spawn along here but I'm not going to get any uh, wither skeletons or whatnot spawning along here but I have these two intersections next to each other and this is kind of awesome 
this lead down to a dead end? Yeah, there's a room. Okay. Yeah, it's a dead end. <laughs> okay. So basically what I'm planning on doing... Hi. Um, so I've got another nether fortress sections here. Just wait a second. This is the weirdest stairway ever. I was half and expecting to find a, a blaze spawner up here, but... Oh, there's one over there. Okay. That's good to know. Okay. Keep moving. Of course, I neglected to bring my blaze, my fire resistance potion. So this... this um, intersection right here is uh, and that intersection right there gives me this this huge area it's like whoa hello uh, g basically it goes out to here out to the edge where it just ends hello um, and on that side over there and and it's basically 10 10 blocks out from the center and not the center and counting the center so center and then nine blocks nine blocks nine blocks nine blocks and then from the center of that intersection the same thing so this gives me like a 38 by 19 area where uh i mean i have it somewhat lit up so i'm minimizing the spawns right now but um i will eventually want to change that and help maximize the spawns i'm going to put in stone brick so that the beasties will stand out a bit more than they do against this nether brick because oh and I got blazes over there what in the world is going on where are you guys coming from is there another spawner over there bet there is interesting okay I'll have to explore those because right now I've got a pretty good situation I've got two intersections right here where I can make Essentially, wither skeleton farms. Oops. <clears throat> and hello, Mr. Blaze. Are you going to shoot at me? Yes, you are. Do it. Let me attack you. No. Okay. Okay. Well. Never mind. Put out these fires. So I can make a wither skeleton farm out of these two intersections. I'm going to build out and replace all this nether brick on the walkway with stone brick. Take out these rails. Expand out the stone brick out to the appropriate distance. So I have a big rectangular pad. Um, And then build up three three blocks, build another pad, and then go down three blocks, or you know, three blocks up, and then another pad, three blocks down, and then another pad. So I'll have a three layer blaze or uh, wither skeleton farm. And the idea there, of course, is to collect wither skulls. Um, and then I'll slab the rest of the fortress. I'll go through and slab it, and then see if I've got um, if I've got another place spawner up in this section up here, which I haven't explored up there really any. And if I have another blaze spawner over here, maybe one of these will have. Uh oh, I hear the gas. Uh, maybe one of them will have a dual spawner and these walkways I can I can in include the walkways in the the farm too if I want or I may slab it over to try and minimize spawning here so that it spawns in the intersections where it's most convenient but like here oh if I need soul sand I've got a whole clump of it here and there's obviously more fortress over there so there's a lot of exploring to do yet so anyway, um, that's where I'm at. I'm just making up plenty of stone and stone slabs, carting it over to the nether here. 
and making as safe a passage as I can down into the fortress here, which I think I've done a pretty good job of. And of course, I didn't bring any slabs with me. Of course not. Why would I have done that? That would have been just too, too convenient. All right. So. So anyway, but as I make my way back here, we will, as you will see, I'll make our way back and pretty much guarantee you not seeing any pigmen or any other mobs, which is awesome. And yet I can come up here and look down and see the fortress. Well, not. I can see the fortress from over here. We'll figure out a better way of uh, sort of previewing. What's going on? Got a fire down here? Ah, okay. Oh, man. Okay, that's fine. We'll deal with those eventually. Cool. So anyway, there you go. That's my current nether situation. I'm going to work on getting my... Oh, see? My little lag spikes. I used to think that was uh, the fires. And I'm sure the fires aren't helping with the frame rate. But I keep seeing pigmen spawning. Um, not keep, but I, I've seen them, especially in this snapshot. Just all look around and suddenly there will be a huge lag spike and suddenly you know another batch of, of pigmen will pop up so I think the the lag spikes are the game spawning mobs where it can and since I've slabbed this over it seems to help with the uh, with those lag spikes which is kind of good so anyway I'm gonna grab these and let's uh, make some more and I'll, I'm going to go down and keep slapping stuff over. And uh, we will uh, call that an episode. It's, I know it's kind of short, but I have somewhat limited time today. And we will, uh, when I get more progress done, I will come back and show you what's going on. And uh, then hopefully you come back and see what's been, see what I've gotten done. All right, that's still incredibly awkward but but that's um, oh while I'm here grab that potion I've decided that pretty much whenever I'm down in a cave mining I should always have a bucket of water on my bar and I like keeping it here in the um, in my fifth position Okay, um, so that I just kind of can just intuitively snap to it. And when I'm in the nether, I should keep a potion of fire resistance on my thing, on my bar, because I got knocked off, I, I think it was off camera, and I got knocked off a ledge into a ocean of lava. And I, I had a uh, potion of fire resistance on my bar, and I was able to keep my wits about me enough to actually switch to it and drink it and I was able to swim my way out to safety which is kind of awesome whoa hello okay you can come here oh don't don't be like that oh hello Oh, that was mighty poor timing. Did that gas just sink down into the walkway? I think it did. <sighs> oh. Okay gonna do this I wonder where did it go <laughs> okay I think that's all the excitement we're gonna get today see it down there 
and I don't see my blaze rod. Let's see it over there. So the gas seems to have gone away. Okay. Anyway, thank you, and uh, I will see you next time. Goodbye.